Total Drama Return to the Island is the fourth season of the show, and despite its name, hardly anything remains the same. This season features an entirely new cast of characters, with only the showrunners Chris and Chef returning. This season makes a return to the island from the first season, however, everything's changed, as now the island is a toxic waste dump. It was at this point in the series where any and all down-the-earth elements have been dropped from the first few seasons. They have completely embraced the cartoony nature of the show, which in a lot of ways is bad. For starters, the contestants in the series are all bland. They get very bare-bones personalities to start with, and they never even develop. Though there is one exception, but we'll get to that later. As for the rest of the characters, they are nothing more than their one personality trait. I feel a big reason for this problem stems from the fact that the team writing the show spent two full seasons not needing to fully develop characters. After season one of Total Drama Island, the cast of the show were already defined enough. And besides some minor character arcs, they didn't need to spend a few episodes with slow challenges to build them up. But now that the show has an entirely new cast of characters, that same mentality just doesn't work. Speaking of challenges, the first three seasons had reasonable challenges that sometimes used its more cartoony nature to make them more interesting. This time around, the show tosses out any reasonable challenges and just comes up with torture traps that only cartoon characters could survive. Any investment you might have had for these characters winning their challenges is just out the window, as there's no real stakes to them. In Season 1, the character Cody gets attacked by a bear in the woods, and then gets wounded to the point that he had to be eliminated from the show as he could no longer compete. In this season, however, there is absolutely no real danger in any of these challenges. With the exception of one of the contestants coming in contact with the radiation, and then turning into a giant mutant girl. Weird. But that just kind of goes to show how little the showrunners cared about making a down-to-earth world at this point. Any tension, surprise, or investment is just gone from this season. And I would even consider this season to be one of the lowest points in the series, if not for two characters. Cameron and Lightning. These two characters in the show are the only characters I feel that they had some natural character development on par with season 1 of Total Drama. Lightning is just a jock character who only cares about winning. But as the season progresses, we see why Lightning is so determined to win. Beyond the $1 million prize, of course. Lightning has a lot more riding on this competition than the prize itself. I won't spoil anything here for those who have yet to see this season, and plan on checking it out, but Lightning is the only character in this season who has a reason to win beyond the prize money. Cameron, on the other hand, is a bubble boy. He signed up for the contest so that the $1 million could help keep up his lifestyle. And like with Lightning, I won't spoil Cameron's development, but all I can say is that Cameron and Lightning are the only two redeeming characters in this season. Despite them, they alone can't save what an awful season this is. And the sad part, this isn't even the lowest point of the series. So with that said, Total Drama Return to the Island will be placed on the fifth pedestal. Cue the outro. Be sure to subscribe to this channel throughout this week. I will be uploading reviews of every single Total Drama Island season each day. Keep your eyes out for each new installment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.